Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. I always like to start this part of the video by explaining all the ways you can support this channel and the content. Of course you can like the video, leave a comment, you can subscribe to the channel or even join right here as a member. You can join as a Primaris, a Lieutenant or a Primarch. The best way of supporting this channel is by using the Element Games link in the description of every video right here. If you click on that and you buy your Warhammer goodness from Element Games, you're going to save yourself up to 25%. And if you use this code here, you'll earn yourself double the Element Crystals for every purchase, which you can use to get even more money off your next purchases. A huge thank you to everybody that uses the code. I can't make this content without you. So without further ado, let's jump on over to the Warhammer community website, which is right here. Um, there's been quite a few bits of snippets of news and things this week. Uh, let's uh, go down to uh, about a week ago. So uh, Halloween or Warhammer Day as it was called, where we got uh, Space Marine Chaplain Tarentus. I live streamed the second part of my monolith build guide uh, on the Saturday evening. And then the next day I finished it and uh, subsequently made a review and it's now up on my painting schedule. There's an article about uh, Bugman right here. This is quite interesting. You've got Jacob Bugman's son, the 11th. You can pre-order him uh, from, I think this week, um, all the way up to Christmas as a commemorative uh, miniature. I love the keg there uh, with this little um, viewport. Pretty awesome. Sunday, you had uh, a preview to all of the um, pre-orders that are up for today, uh, which is Marathi or Morathai, however you'd like to pronounce that, um, along with uh, a load of box sets, the contents of which weren't disclosed on this article, which I found was a bit strange. You have to go to the uh, Marathi um, specific page to see those. This is the box game that's up for pre-order today, Shadow and Pain. I think I will collect Daughters of Cain at some point, um, and no doubt these models will be available separately. I'm just not in that position to jump ship yet. There's still a load of uh, 40k releases, a load of Space Marine releases um, to come, uh, so I want to cover those. Interesting announcement though was the Space Marine Heroes Series 3. Six uh, Death Guard models. It's a shame because there are, I think, seven. You're not getting the Psyker, I want to call him. I've forgotten his name already, but uh, you get him in the paint set, and I don't think they're selling the paint set, but you can pre-order these. Uh, they've been out in Japan. All the Space Marine Heroes series have been out in Japan first, uh, and they've typically consisted of more uh, models for reasons. Um, these kind of blind buy miniatures are more popular in Japan. I also think it's nice that they get unique miniatures uh, as a way of introducing them into the hobby and sort of um, giving them something special. Because I don't know how much they get neglected over there in terms of prices and availability and Warhammer stores. Um, you could also pre-order these playing cards. It doesn't show you the, you know, the front of them, but... Um, it just shows you the reverse artwork, which I think, yeah, they, they could have done. Um, from Forge World yesterday, uh, it was the Aeronautica Imperialis uh, ground assets. Uh, I think they look really decent, and I'm pleased they've done this because the possibilities are endless, really. There's nothing stopping you from using these things in um, Titanicus as part of scenery, because uh, it's all the same scale. Black Library, you have these novella series, you have uh, Covens of Blood by Anna Stevens, Leanne, Lyon, uh, Merciel, and Jamie Chrisali. Then there's the Black Library Calendar 2020. No doubt that's going to be £70 or so, probably a bit more. Who knows? And that was a little look at the uh, Sunday preview. It comes out about 6 or 7 o'clock every Sunday. Then we've got some articles about Blood Bowl, Broken Realms, Rise of the Shadow. Queen, Armies on Parade starts here, open for business-ish. Uh, if you 
weren't already aware, there was a lockdown that started uh, Thursday uh, this week in the UK, um, which meant there were some restrictions because of the old COVID virus and things. Uh, the web store is still open. I think the factory is still open. So yeah, you can still order your uh, your minis and uh, hobby goodness and things. There might be slight delays though. Rumor engine, uh, this looks some kind of club giant weapon with uh, spikes on it. Warcry Catacombs Law Focus, Broken Realms New Rules, the Regimental Stand Imperium's Most Wanted, Makari, I believe. Art of Your New Codex Supplements. And there's some lovely artworks here. Yeah, the Blood Angels one looks amazing. Shadow and Pain Unboxed. Three more reasons to visit your Warhammer store. Now, this was an interesting article because this is the first time that they've uh, advertised a free model every month. Free. Every month, you'll be able to pick up a new model at no cost themed around one of the, the month's releases. In summary, new free model in your local Warhammer store every month at no cost. That's interesting. Earn collectible coins. Each month there is also a collectible coin. Your reward for supporting your local Warhammer store. Sticking to the Broken Realms Marathi theme, this beauty is the first one of your collection. There'll be a new coin to collect each month and will include iconic symbols for Warhammer Age of Sigma and Warhammer 40,000 starting with Daughters of Cain uh, for November. After you've collected six you claim a gorgeous booklet to show off your Warhammer coin collection to the world. So if you like coins and if you like limited collectors things, uh, yeah, this will be for you. It's a pain for me because I live about an hour away or so from my local GW. So I'm not sure whether it's worth it, especially with lockdown and things. Don't want to sort of advertise unnecessary travel. So it's really weird that GW are doing that. But I've been in the store before and uh, they've got it locked down. Um, they've, they've got a really good system, but this will of course increase uh, traffic to, to the stores. You just need to spend 60 pounds, easily covered by a combat patrol. Or start collecting set, you know, while they're still selling them because they are replacing them with the combat patrols. Uh, so what they're saying, it says easily covered by combat patrol. So if they're advertising you buying a combat patrol every month, what they're essentially wanting you to do is spend over a thousand pound for 12 coins. Would you pay a thousand pound for 12 coins? It's a year's worth of combat patrols or a warlord titan. Uh, you got a pick and mix paint set to get a pot free. Choose any 10 pots and you get the most expensive one free. Again, that's encouraging you to spend what? 30, maybe 40 pounds? Three quid off. Moving on then, you've got Blood Bowl, Jim and Bob present History of Blood Bowl, Kill Team Mission Report, Adeptus Sororitas, Broken Realms Marathi Unleashed. Lovely artwork there. You've got some uh, different command abilities. You've got the Shadow Queen herself. Community Painting Competition winner October. It was Manfred. Mortark of Night by Cohen Cambrai. Oh, you've got uh, Varangard. That's amazing. You've got uh, Orc, Orc or Treat, <laughs> Nagash, Mephiston, and uh, Grimgast Reapers. The Vem's theme is Battlegrounds and Terrain. So yeah, if you've got a nice uh, paint, paint scheme or model that you're proud of, uh, enter it, definitely. Batteries included. You've got two new kits with two uh, anti-aircraft guns, ideal for denial weapons. Celebrate your celebrate Blood Bowl in style. Stop by your local participant. Stop by your local participating shop when Blood Bowl's second season launches for a chance at scoring these awesome goodies. Patches and chips. I wonder about these chips whether they're just the cardboard ones. And then Space Marine Heroes Three: Rise of the Nerglings. It was a special look at these uh, these new Nerglings. This one put his head through one of the holes. <laughs> this one's just clinging on with his tongue swaying and a little bit of a maggot there. They're, they look awesome. Um, 
I particularly like this one though, with these horrible ugh, worm things. I think that's just a cool model. I'm a big fan of all of these models. Um, there's so much going on and I can't wait to add them to my collection. Yeah, that one is fantastic. And that one is the uh, champion, obviously. So there you go. Uh, that's all the, the news um, for Saturday, the 7th of November. Let's jump on over to Forgewood and have a closer look at those Aeronautica Imperialis Aerial Denial Assets, Ground Assets. If we click on New um, Pre-orders. You've got two, they're both £22 each. So they're about £7 per uh, little gun battery, which is about right for reds in. There's a fair amount of detail. I'm not sure whether these come in two parts or three parts or four parts. This, it looks like it's just two parts. And this, it looks like it's one, two, three, four parts for that one. I mean, the gun might be separate. One, two, three. And then these could be four parts. Maybe this is two parts. If you pop this uh, fuel canister in, the refueling station in. But yeah, they look quite cool. And then you've got the towel, which I'm not quite sure on the paint scheme that they've gone for. But uh, yeah, you've got drone enhanced gun emplacements. Uh, again, for £22 there. These look like they are possibly four pieces each. Possibly this is two pieces, maybe three pieces. But there you go. They're the new Aeronautica Imperialis um, ground assets for Tau and uh, for Astra Militarum. Let's fly on over to uh, Games Workshop now. Okay, so here we are on uh, Games Workshop's web store. Uh, you've got a nice advert there of Armies of the Broken Realms for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. If we go to the next page, you've still got Chaplin, uh, you've still got the Terminator Chaplin Tarentus, uh, and then Champions of Plague. They're only advertising five of the heroes there, but ah uh, well. Uh, also a little bit of an advert for Warcry. So if we click on new and exclusive, uh, and uh, on pre-orders, go from uh, oh, high to low, click on view all. Now, you've got this shadow and pain um, set here, uh, £105. I think you still have a bit of a saving, especially when you factor in these two sort of 22 to 25 pound single miniatures that they'll uh, release. That's already almost half of the box set, not including all of the other units. And you do get a chariot in there, which are, are typically uh, expensive. You get 38 miniatures, 10 uh, Melisai, five Kinnerai, one, Melus one Melisai Iron Scale, which is exclusive um, to the set, but uh, no doubt they'll release that separately. 10 Demonettes, one Hell Flayer, 10 Hell Striders, one Lord of Pain, again, exclusive to the set. So this is the exclusive uh, mini so far. Looks fantastic. Really, really like that one. Um, then of course you get these. They're lovely miniatures, absolutely beautiful holding a heart and then you've got the bow um, it'd be cool if they you know fired snakes instead of arrows that would be incredible and uh, you've got the uh, Slanesh unique mini that's quite nice I like the splatter of blood on the top there and his uh, very pointy shoes got the death flare Yeah, crazy, crazy chariot thing. Oh. And then you've got all the sprues, things like that. So that's the uh, Shadow and Pain set, £105. Um, you've got Broken Realms, Kaiser, or Kaiser, Venbrecht, uh, Venbrecht Black Watch, £60 here. A few duplicate models, but uh, you can go for for this, these black armoured called the Black Watch, really. 
got Judicators, Griff Hounds, Castigators, Lord uh, Veritant. Then you've got these uh, separate, then you've got more separate box sets. Um, you've got this uh, Chaos one, the Broken Realms, Rockar, Gresh, Gresh's Iron Reapers. Box is cool. Uh, these chariots, I've been told, I was only discussing these the other day actually, um, that they're pretty nice sets, very rewarding. I'm quite tempted, but there's three of them and I would only be looking to get one of them. Uh, for me, there's there's no need. I'm not going to create a massive Chaos uh, or Slaves of Darkness army, so for me, I'll only be looking to get one. But still, £55 is decent, considering these are £25 each. So that's a whopper of a save in there. Um, you're getting, you're almost getting one of them for free, but they are quite old models. These Ardeneth Deepkin, though, are still relatively new, uh, and you get the three models there for 55. And then uh, Broken Realms Drusa or Drusa or Drusa Kraith, Kraith's uh, Shadow Pact. Very old models. I like the dragon though, I've never seen the dragon before. Then you've got the Marathi uh, Broken Realms Limited Edition book, £50. You've only got 600 copies now, so not even a uh, thousand or anything like that. It's a 120 page uh, book, that's alright actually. 120 pages. Lovely cover art as well. Black Library Advent Calendar. I was right. It is about fifty pounds um, every day uh, for twenty-five days during uh, December. You get a different um, art print. They don't show you any of the art prints here, though. Would have been nice to see at least one of them, but they're all individually sleeved. Um, features art from Black Library covers. Only one thousand two hundred fifty available, so they're a bit limited edition. Then you've got the Broken Realms narrative collection. So you've got the, the main book there, which again, be 120 pages, I'm guessing. Yeah, uh, along with the hardback um, novel. At least it looks uh, hardback, it doesn't actually say. But 43 pounds. You can take the view that the book is 18 pound and that the main kind of battle tome narrative book is uh, 25. And I think that's uh, confirmed a little bit lower down. You've got the Space Marine Heroes 3, the complete set. This uh, pack features six models. The dispenser contains one of each of the six models. So there's no blind buy required. You can just get all six there. Um, it's got a question mark for, for this one, but they've forgotten to blur the champion out here, which they did do in the community preview. It's quite, quite interesting. Um, I guess they're not into sort of editing these these pictures as much, but yeah, you can get the it's essentially six Space Marines for forty two pounds. It's um, yeah, look at it that way. You know, normally ten Space Marines, what are they? Thirty pounds or so? Twenty five? Six for forty two. As we travel further down, we will uh, stumble across the Black Library Novella Series Three hardback collection. Thirty pounds there. So you get five books, Necromunda, Age of Sigma, and three 40k uh, novellas. Don't say how many pages each one is, but they're by Justin Woolley, Ben Counter, Danny Ware, David Geimer, and Gary Kloster. Further down, you've got the Broken Realms um, narrative book here. First chapter in the Seismic New Narrative. £25, as I said lovely cover art you can't go wrong with either this cover art or the uh, collector's edition they're both um, gorgeous you can pre-order Jacob uh, Bugmanson £21 it's available until the 4th of January 2am it's a commemorative series Brewmaster General so uh, yep yeah, you've got a, a choice of heads there you've got the helmet or the helmetless The Covens of Blood hardback book, eighteen pounds. I think it's official now. I think we can we can lay that to rest. 
that the hardback books are £18 when they first come out. You've got Heirs of Grimner by uh, David Geimer, CD, audio, drama, £12. You've got the playing cards, which sort of show you what's on the front. Um, that's the Joker. But they are, yeah, you've got another picture there, well, another two pictures of uh, what they look like. And it just looks like there's art there um, with the numbers at either either end. I mean, yeah, that might work, but I think it's going to be more difficult to sort of play cards with those ones. You've got the Series 3, £7. So if you want to do a blind buy and uh, gamble, which uh, Death Guard... Space Marine is in the box when you pick it. Then if you want to get six of them, of course, that's £42. It's the same price as if you were to buy them uh, in that pack. Um, but, of course, you don't, you're not guaranteed uh, to get the six that you, you want, the full six in the collection. Um, you've got the Novella Series 3. They're all available separately. It's quite nice, £6 uh, each in hardback. Doesn't say anywhere the uh, number of pages, though. It's quite disappointing. And there you go. That's it. Uh, that is all of the pre-orders uh, today. Quite a few to go through. You've got everything from Age of Sigmar, a uh, big release, the Shadow and Pain, the um, four uh, Broken Realms uh, kits, which undoubtedly save you a bit of money. You've got the Marathi narrative, narrative books. You've got the Space Marine Heroes Series 3. You've got the Novella Series. You've got uh, Bookmanson. You've got a new novel. Uh, CD and the other uh, novellas so quite a chunky uh, pre-order this weekend um, it's it's a it's a fair amount it has been every week for about five six weeks now so these are all the pre-orders ready for release next weekend and we're next weekend we're you know middle of November Um I have a strong feeling that next weekend we've got to have the pre-orders for the the Space Marines in form of the you know some of the new models because there's about seven or eight uh, releases for them not including the death guard codex and the new uh, model for death guard the blood angels uh, supplement as well and there's still a lot to release before christmas and that's not even including the battle forces if gw do them this year which i'm sure they will so it's still full steam ahead um Please do uh, put in the comments which is your favourite pre-order this weekend and are you going to pick up one of these Broken Realms um, uh, sets or are you fully invested in uh, Mar Marathi or are you just going to pick up uh, a couple of the Space Marine Hero 3 boxes or maybe the, the full set? Again, put your comments down below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.